Hey, look at this. This YBR. What the hell is that van doing in rig and roll? That van just cut off a big rig or something. Uh, anyways, this is video like 17 and a half. Now, the reason it's and a half is quite simple. Do you remember the last video? I crashed and then I saved right at, like, literally, right after I crashed and I did lots of damage to my truck. Like, I'm okay with little bumps and scrapes, but I really fucked it up hard. So I'm re. I'm, did I have the cops on me already, or did I just get them on me? Eh, who knows. Uh, so I'm gonna redo it, and then not get my truck so beat up. But I have an idea first. Since I just loaded, I'm not gonna lose much. Come on. I gotta- oh. Oh, I hit something. Oh well. Worth a shot. Oh god, trailer's pulling me down. Drop the trailer. Power! <laughs> All right. Um, whoops, that's not quick load. Uh, so I, I, I just had to do that. It's just you see a hill. Shut up, police. Oh god, did I hit escape too fast? I think I might. Have... The hell? There it is. Hi, game. Yeah, we, we, uh, we kind of gotta get out of this menu and load. Uh, so I finally did overclock my CPU as much as I could. Like, uh, you know, I did the whole running, um, what's it called? Uh, the pies. Like, I did all that shit where you run super pie or whatever the fuck those benchmarking things are. Made sure it was a stable. I went from 2.5 gigahertz to 2.6 gigahertz. That is a 5% increase. Literally, oh, what the hell, this isn't the save I wanted. Literally, though, I could increase it 5% from the stock speeds, and it's unstable. Unstable. And this is with o overvolting, mind you. With overvolting. Now, I, I, don't, I, I, I admit, I'm, I'm not, you know, super master of a clocker, or nothing like crazy like that. So, you know, it might just be me, but... I was using, like, for reference, like, at first, I kind of just, like, said, all right, up this little by little, and then I tried, like, some references that other people said, oh, this speed works for 2.7 gigahertz and shit, blue screens of death instantly, just boom, don't even try to run it that fast, you can't even get to get the benchmarking shit started, so, yeah, I'm, I, like I said, I don't know if it's necessarily I'm bad overclocker, which is a genuine likelihood but even trying to just use you know generic other people's overclocks for the same model cpu but different you know actual cpu it doesn't work out very well let's try to squeeze by beautiful yep nothing's falling off that's good more power oh god i really hate this section you know that I gotta, I gotta test. Oh no! My trailer! I gotta load manually because I still haven't. Like, once I load this, I need to save. Because what's happening is I just. I load it. Then I have to. I gotta, I gotta get a quick save on it. So when I hit quick load, I get to there. Otherwise, I'll just. It takes too long. But this is a rough area, I will say. It is. Actually, now that I think about it, I shouldn't be on video 50, 16, should I? 16 was doing the light bulbs. I shouldn't have a trailer yet. Did I freeze the game? Nope, it's done. So I actually don't want this save or load. I want 15. Good, because that road is a bitch. That also explains why I didn't climb a mountain before. Well, that's a good way to waste uh, Look at the counter for the video time length. There you go. That's how much time I wasted. But you got to hear about how great this computer is for overclocking. It is a great overclocker. 5% overclock.
Uh, you know what? No. If it's only 2.6, that's less than a 5% overclock. <laughs> Makes it unstable. Man, should this thing have even been the addition, the model CPU it says? This thing should have been the lower end CPU, damn it. Alright, let's get a save up just so if I need to load, I have it come back to where I want. And then we'll be off. To Colfax? I don't really know where we're going. Whoa! Dick, don't cut me off. Right, hold up, let's bring this up real quick. So we got... No, let's see, that's not... We want to go to Reading. Because this one just seems more important. Alright, let's do some swerves. Alright, and in through the hole. And, uh oh. Go. Perfect. Alright, so we just keep going straight for a while. I do have one idea. Um, I want to see if I can reach the... I don't have that mission yet, actually. I was going to say reach the crocodile one and then do that. Then go to Reading, but I don't have the cro crocodile one yet. They're both in Reading, actually, now that I think about it. But I don't have that mission yet because he hasn't called. So why you ain't call me? Come on, man. Just call me. I want to get your crocodile. Was it an alligator? I don't remember. It's a thing that looks like a dinosaur. And uh, lives in the rivers and shit. Hey, are there any truckers near Redden? It's Rainbow LTD. We got some hogs that need to be transported to Vernon. Anyone willing to help? Nick Armstrong here. What's the pay? Nick, the rate is standard. Uh, Bill Walker from the Shasta Festival will be very grateful to you personally. They've got some kind of pig rally starting soon, so they need them hogs today. Okay, I'll take them. Where's the cargo? It's by Redding's Eastern Exit at the truck stop. Well, that's not the mission I thought it would be on the phone call, but I do remember getting this one. And I, if I remember right, my plan was to do this. And then we go back to, um, what's it called? Reading. And from there, we do the next mission. So basically, a big old clusterfuck. Oh, crap. Oh, that was beautiful. Boost out of it. That was beautiful. I gotta save after that. Just Mr. Magnificent truck driver. Swerving and... Oh. I shed a single tear. It's so beautiful. Not really, though. I am crying. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, I'm so... What the fuck? That guy stopped in the middle of the road. Seriously, it's getting hard to see because there's tears all up in my eyes. Stop it, body. I'm trying to drive a big rig. Oh, I guess you got some eyes and shit. Why am I tearing up, bro? This ain't right. I'm just rigging and rolling. Shit. Orland. Did that really just say Orland? As in no O at the end for Orlando, or did I just misread that? Somebody's got to look at that during editing. Most likely me, because... What are you doing editing my video? Stop it. I mean, if somebody's editing my video, it's just to be like, Oh, look at this guy. He can't make LPs at all. <laughs> Shut up, fool. I know. I don't see nobody else doing it the way I do it. I do stuff my way, at least. It's unique. You know, if I just did Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft amnesia kind of shit, I'd hit myself. Oh man, I'm dull. But when I play a boring game like this, man, do I look amazingly interesting by comparison. That's how it works, right? <laughs> nope, just dull on dull now. Doesn't work like that at all, you idiot. I am uh, going to it. Good. Oh, it is just called Orland. Wait, why am I even thinking Florida? 
I'm tired as fuck, bro. I mean, like, I know my eyes are, are like, it's like it's a combination of how much, how fucking tired I am is why they're tearing up. So I blame me thinking about Florida and Orlando on being tired. I am tired as fuck. Like, oh, these last sleep. Today's Saturday. Yeah. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Or Thursday, Friday, and today I had to wake up really early. And wish I had like maybe four, four hours of sleep a night. And man, I like my sleep usually. So I, 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 I'm just like, I'm tired. But it's all cool. Because this game... Man, it got quick saves, so if I fuck up, we just get a quick load. Although, ironically enough, even though I'm playing hella tired, I really haven't had that many mistakes. Hey, can anybody hear me? I hear you. It's Nick from Nick Trucking. What's the matter? Timothy Nelson, Reading Construction. We had an emergency at the building site. The dozer driver was attacked by a crocodile. The damn thing was huge, almost 25 feet long. I've never seen anything like it. Crocodile? I thought so too. But the fact remains, we ran it over with a truck and put it in the bed. It looks dead, but the boys are afraid to be close. Can you get the thing out of the city? And where exactly do you want me to leave it outside the city? How the hell should I know? Just take it away and we'll it somehow. Okay, I'll go take a look. Great. Just please hurry. Cool. Um, now what was I saying? Oh. Hello. Can I speak with the transport? I'm the famous rider. My God, Jules? No, never. Me too. Ah. Ha! Uh, yeah, must. Be. What can I do for you? I need my books taken from the publishing house and brought here to me. They are my personal copies. Okay. How many books? Quite a lot. I hope your car can handle a large number of books. My car is actually a giant truck, so yeah. yeah. Marvelous. The publisher is called Paperback Writer Pocket Books. It's in the center of Eureka. Tell them I sent you. And take the books and deliver them to me in Reading. Okay. How do I find you in Reading? Ask anybody on the street. I'm a famous writer. Everybody knows me. And be quick. Famous, huh? I forgot about him. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to, um... Like, he'll be... the side mission I worry about, maybe. Type of thing. Like, right now, concentration is like, alright, let's do this thing in Reading. And then... worry about him, because... like, I have... I don't know if I... Like, that... this mission I'm gonna get seems important, and it's extremely far away. So we'll just see what happens. Alright, so we could just kind of, excuse me, pass by these guys. Alright, did I go the right way? Yeah. No, yes, no. Drift! Drift! Shit. I ain't a drift. Whatever. All right. So I got ten minutes. Now where's that crocodile? I think he was on the other side of the road, wasn't he? And I have less time for doing that. So what I'm gonna do is um, this was the crocodile, right? Now this. Yeah. So I'll, I'll put the crocodile one. All right. So you know what I'm gonna do. And just to kind of show everything off I'm going to also save right there and see what happens if I was to cancel it just to show everything off Nick it's Tim Tim I thought about your little situation there and you know what I'm not falling for it what it's no joke yeah yeah you probably have these TV guys just waiting for me to come and look for your problem out Biggest fool of California, or whatever that show is called. Get it. Alright. Now we go ahead and load it. 
Uh, as a California resident, I have never heard of this TV show. But, to be fair, all I do is watch anime. <laughs> so, I'm not a good example of that. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll do that mission, though. I was up for something more interesting, but whatever. Maybe if I don't cancel and just timed out, it'd be better. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought it'd be something more interesting, though, that's for sure. It's kind of boring, just... Oh. Okay. That's basically my reaction. Oh, we gotta break hard here, I forgot. Alright, there we go. Oh, a little laggy. That's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Just listen to the song, man. It's telling me it's alright. Oh, it's a one-way road. I try to try to, I try to follow traffic laws a little bit. Alright, so let's see. go ahead and get that crocodile. Ba -ba -da -ba. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. <sighs> no lie though, I've played this game so much recently that a few days ago I was actually like thinking about this song while I was like driving in my car or some shit. I'm like, what song is this from? What song is this? Oh shit, it's rig and roll. What as fast as I could? Where's your monster? Turned out we didn't kill the thing. Came to, went right through Jack and escaped through the river. That was Jack. His head pretty bad. Boys took him to the hospital. Things aren't going so well when a crocodile takes a fancy to your construction center. Anyway, it seems I just wasted a lot of time and fuel for no reason. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll try to see. As for the crocodile, I've already informed the authorities. I don't need to open a zoo here. My workers here are zooming up. All right, then. Good luck, Tim. Good luck yourself. His cheeks look weird when he talks. Uh, so one thing I noticed, though, um, that sounded painful on the truck. Well, I forgot what it was. I, what did I notice? Who remembers? Not me. Um. Oh, the subtitles. That's right. It was. They looked. They were funny, because it was like a big ass whole sentence, and then Reason had its own separate page. It's just like really, you couldn't fit it all in one or split it more equally. Alright, so now we head back. Into Reading again. Just boost into it. Alright, so we go into Reading, grab some gas, and then we talk to them. Well, better yet, since I kind of know what that mission is already and I'm worried about it, what I could do even more so is grab this trailer. Then talk to them. Just to. Oh shit. Because I have six minutes to get there for the first time. Which is a fair amount of time. Well, actually, I'm gonna have to double back this way no matter what, so. Ah, screw that. Plus, I'm driving all unrealistically. That's... I don't, I'm not... Yeah, I do it without thinking, but I'm not intentionally trying to do that. You know, it's just... Oh, it happens. It happens. And just like my mouse is uh, at two out of three battery powers. Uh, I don't know. It's just, I've run out of things to talk about because this is a recap episode type of thing. It's like, it's all stuff you've seen, nothing new. Oh, I saved before we talked to him. Oh, well. Let's stop dramatically. I'm here for the crocodile. Watch his cheeks. 
They look yeah. weird. It is hit pretty bad. Boys took him to the hospital. Things aren't going so well when I'm talking out. This is the weird uh, subtitling. Anyway, it seems I just wasted a lot of time and fuel for no reason. Yeah. See, it looks like the reason could have easily fit. It's just like, why did you split it? I've already informed the authorities I don't need to open a zoo. The workers here are zoo enough. All right, then. Good luck, Tim. Good luck yourself. Huh? What the hell did I do? I did none of that. Wait. So, I got arrested for what my truck did while I was in a cutscene. Guess he gets to see this cutscene for a f fourth time. Third time. No, third time. Yeah, third time. I'm thinking I did it in the video 17, but now I didn't. So, guess he gets to see this for a third time. You. And me. I'll see it a fourth time, depending on how much editing I do. Like maybe I'll edit it out, and I'll see it five times, who knows. Hoes! Jesus. Stop, Aang. You sure took your time. Went as fast as I could. Where's your monster? Turned out we didn't kill the thing. It came to, went right through Jack, and escaped through the river. How's Jack? Hit his head pretty bad. Boys took him to the hospital. Things aren't going so well when a crocodile takes a fancy to your construction set. Anyway, it seems like I just thought about. A lot of time and I bet things are cut off, yeah, like in the sorry, scripting. Yeah. If you listen, they're like they just cut each other off. Boom, boom, boom. I bet it's because it's the Russian. They spoke faster comparatively, but what they said was shorter. So instead of like changing the timing, I had the same amount of time. They have the same amount of time in the scripts. They just run them slower, so they just gotta get chopped at the end. That's probably what happened, like, from a gen like from my thinking of it from, like, a um, technical reason. I, that would be the most likely thing I could think of. Alright, so we'll go. We'll s fly into Reading, grab that trailer, drop it off, like, in the middle area here, go over to the other side of Reading. And by this trailer, I'm here, I mean the circular thing on the map. I'm, I'm pointing with my actual finger. Because you can see that, can't you? Where does it say that we need to talk about your pets? You're not even supposed to talk about anything. Yeah, but this area right here, I'll just drop it off. To minimize doubling back as much as possible. I'm sorry, Karen. I don't know how that And to actually traveling with the trailer, because I could bring it back to the other trailer in Reading, which is to the north of me, or the right on the map, depending on which orientation you prefer to reference it with. But then I have to carry the trailer up and down that highway, which seems like it would just increase overall time. Which I don't want to do. That's a bad thing. So since I've spun out in this journey more times than I can count, let's say. And so we don't see the crocodile again. I don't know if I've saved since then, but now I have, so it's alright. Oh, I, see, that's why I said because I lagged a little bit and then I overturned because, you know, I expect by the time I hit right, I'd be a little farther up. That's my excuse, and I will stick to that. Thank you. Loading, loading, done. All right, brakes. <laughs> a little too much brakes, but hey, better safe than sorry. Uh oh, I lied. Oh man, I broke so hard that I felt I had to speed up mid-turn, and then I sped up too much mid-turn and crashed. This turn is just deceptive. That's the problem. I, it, it doesn't look that bad. But then you actually get to it, and it's like, oh, this turn's actually steep. Crash. Shit. It's exactly what I do every time. Oh. And then I say shit. Not. Like, not out loud, but I think it. Well, not half the time I say it aloud, probably. So let's take it 50-ish. That should be perfectly fine for both parts. There. Now, my curiosity here real quick is which gas is cheaper, or is there a price difference, to be more precise? Alright, so over here it costs... Thank you. 
It appears to say 380. Oh, 280, alright. Now, let's go check the other one out. I don't even care if I crash, I'm just like trying to get to the other gas station. Ruining my truck on the way. Like, my truck's fucked up. But look at that fire! Oh god, I was looking at the fire! Hmm. It's quick load. Whoops. Yes, their burgers are just mouth-watering, and their fries are so crisp and tender, and you can't beat their prices and their friendly staff. I can't wait to go to 60 miles. Every time I drive by... I, I love 60 miles. Go there. 60 miles. It's not a real place in California that I know of. It's just so weird. Like, everything, not a real place, not a real place. Then you got the gas station. That's like an actual... Oh, shit, what was I doing when I saved? By the time I see what's happening, I'm all spun out and shit. Okay, that's all right. Good, but it's weird, like to have the real city names, and then the Shell station. Like it really looks like a Shell station. I don't know if it actually says Shell, but it fucking steals their logo at least. Alright, and then you got like Taco Bell. The Shell Shell straight up says it. That's just weird. The price the same. 293? Alright, we're guessing up the other one. I didn't need to quick load there. Oh well. Alright, so go to the other shell, gas up, come back around, then we'll do this delivery. So, why are we reporting this? I don't know. Maybe our listeners in the area want to know. I'm sure plenty of people got pretty scared. 4.3, you feel that kind of thing. Right. Doing donuts. Oh jeez, this cameraman. Who saved that? Uh, I mean, that was a bad save for me. Alright, gas! My method of gassing up is flying to the gas station and start tapping into it. It usually works out alright. All right, that's the cheapest gas I've seen, actually. It's Right now in California, as of the recording of this video, not necessarily upload, because I'm way behind in videos. Um. Gas in California is a buck ten more than that for regular unleaded, not even like you know diesel, which in California is usually more expensive than normal unleaded gas. And I know that was really un illegal, I know, but I made a mistake and I didn't want to have to drive all the way through Reading again. So I screwed up here really bad last time, and this is why I have to do it again, so... Save, and don't touch save until I'm... I'm settled. Again. Alright. Are you Nick Armstrong? I'm Martha Washington. Nice to meet you. Let's get down to business. We are CA Daylight, the leading broadcaster in California. Our coverage spans almost the entire state. We produce a variety of products. Like what? Various TV shows, documentaries, corporate videos, commercials, music videos, presentations, educational videos. You could say we make almost everything there is. Sounds like an interesting job. I couldn't agree more. Our jobs involve a great deal of travel, and we often have to carry heavy and cumbersome things. Let me warn you, our travels can be very long. We work all across California. I see. Uh, what can you offer me? Well, if you aren't cut off by the length of our shipment, we have an easy job to start with. All ears. We're sending a unit to Bishop to film a popular science show about Death Valley. So we need filming equipment delivered there as well. We already have a driver to transport it around the valley. We'll just need to truck it into Bishop. Wow. That is going to be a long ride. How much are you paying? Well, let's go with the regular pace. This is your first job for us. But as a bonus, we can arrange to put a small commercial of your company on TV, assuming we're happy with What the fuck up? Are her teeth black? Just look at them. Alright, let's do it. Then pick up the cargo and have a smooth ride. 
Thanks. Good job. All right, so I'm going to save this here, and until next time, this is going to be up. I'll see you.